What's up guys, we're back with an epic video. Today we have a PSA return. I know this doesn't happen very often and there are more than two cards in here. There's four cards. So this is the most we've had in a while. This is actually cards from people on Whatnot. So we broke a first edition Pharaoh Servant box a few weeks ago, maybe like two and a half weeks ago. And we got four of the cards graded. So four of the people got their cards graded. Two ultra rares, the Buster Blitter you saw, the Legendary Fisherman, and then two of the Supers. And we're going to see what they got here. They registered this on 7, 12, or 13, and it got back like two weeks later. So two weeks after they like entered it into the system, it was ready. It was graded. And it was back. Well, it wasn't back. They shipped it. So this was regular Express, which is still $200 per card now, which is a ton. But... The $300 tier Super Express is extremely fast. Express, I expected to be more like a month or two, but it looks like they've caught this up to be fairly fast again, which is really good news because I sent in 23 of my own cards. You guys will probably see those soon because it's already on the fifth stage out of eight and it's only been like eight days. So if it goes like in two weeks like this one, maybe we'll see it next week, which would be pretty crazy. It's the one with like 13 GBI Secret Rare God cards. It has like Relinquished. It has a Thousand Eyes, Genzo. It has all, all kinds of stuff like that. So it's going to be crazy. Let's get into this one. We also have a giveaway for this video. In this video, I'm giving away, this is an opened LOB original pack. So all the cards from here besides, um, I think the, there was actually a foil in this pack, but I don't have it anymore. So you get these eight commons as well as the pack wrapper from the original. So all this is in the giveaway. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about the grades. What do you think about PSA? Are you frustrated with them? Do you still like them? Do you think it's too expensive now? It's gotten a lot more expensive recently. It's a discussion we'll probably have in this video. And let's see what we got. We also have a few ghosts from the past packs that I'm just going to open up for myself real quick because we don't want this to be, you know, a two-second video. It is four cards, which is longer than usual. But we're going to try and pull a quick ghost rare and see if we can, uh, you know, just do that real quick before we get into the uh, the actual cards, which is going to be pretty fun. So let's see if we can pull one. You guys didn't see when we did a live stream until I pulled a ghost rare. Check that out. It was a pretty awesome stream. It was like two hours long. And we did eventually pull a ghost rare, so that was pretty cool. And speaking of live streams, I'm considering doing a live stream for Dawn of Majesty because there is a Starlight Stardust Dragon in that set. If you guys are interested in a live stream of that set, maybe a really long one trying to pull it, or you're just looking to buy some of the boxes, check out the link down below of Sassy Auto's listings. He has uh, boxes and full cases available. If you check them out, you can use code RUXANDAWN on the box one and get 5% off, and I get an affiliate for that. So go check that out. It benefits the channel, and you guys will have a good price as well. So go check it out if you guys want to get some of those Stardust Starlight packs or whatever it's going to be. Hopefully you guys get the Stardust. If you guys do, like when you get those boxes, if you pull something crazy, make sure you post it on Instagram and tag me in it, or send it to me on Twitter, or tweet me, or whatever. Follow me at Ruxin34 there. We got a Phantom Knight Fog Blade and a Sunvine Thrasher. Yeah, all that stuff is really cool. When you guys send me that awesome pulls, like, I, there's been some crazy stories, like, you can't actually verify this kind of stuff, but I usually just trust people if they, you know, if they tell me and it seems legit. But this guy told me he bought a secret rare rainbow dragon today. Emergency teleport, nice. And uh, they sent him a ghost rare. Yeah, so uh, it was unlimited, okay? But I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. You know, it's just crazy stuff like that. It's really fun to hear that. Um, I'm sure the seller is not happy, but <laughs> it's pretty cool for him. All right, brave dragon. And a, I don't know how to say that guy. I never know how. Okay, we got a few more packs. Then we're going to go right into the four card return Buster Blader Legendary Fisherman. If you guys didn't see when we did the opening, there's a video up on the channel, so go check it out. Fog Blade, okay. Gigantis, Gear Town. Cypher X Dragon, okay. Couple more packs. I have so far pulled two Dark Magicians, one Blize Alternative, and then I pulled a Firewall on Whatnot for someone. So there's an emergency teleport again. So I have pulled three of the four, but we've never pulled the Crystal Wing or the BLS. BLS is the one that I saw everyone else pulling, but I haven't been able to pull it, so maybe we'll pull it one day. Obviously, Dark Magician is the best one, so I can't complain about pulling it twice. We got a best one in terms of price, I should say. You might not like it the most. CR. Even though when I did a poll when this originally was coming out, um, it got like 50% of the vote, so out of five, so it was by far and away the most popular one. Artifact Durandal. We got the Evil Thorn. Resonator Call. Starry Night Sky, okay. All right, if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe. We have some big openings coming up. All the special editions, I mentioned that. We have the 100K special, another emergency teleport uh, with Retro Pack 2. So they're gonna be pretty crazy. And a Starry Night Sky, a lot of the same cards in there. All right, let's get into these PSA cards, guys. 
This is going to be pretty crazy. PSA return. The, the first time I've done one, that's just, that's simply, not, it's not for me. Like, usually there's some for me at least. So it's going to be a little interesting, but I'm hoping that we do pretty good. So it's always nice when the viewers get a nice, uh, get some returns as well. All right, there we go. We got it open. All right, let's get these out of here. They're uh, very bubble wrapped. Very bubble wrapped. And I think this is the way to not reveal them. Yes. Okay. Hopefully there's not a bunch of junk on the back. That's our first hope. We don't want that to be on the back. I don't know which order this is in. Let's just start from the back. There's a little bit of a scratch on the case. Scratch there and a scuff there and there, but it looks like there's nothing on the actual card, which is good. Okay, let's see if we can, uh, okay, it's limiter removal. Let's go like this. All right, limiter removal, Pharaoh's servant. Okay, so this one was for speciality. He got, he actually got two of these cards. So he has both the super rares and the submission. We have a limiter removal first edition. Let's check it out. Centering, I think, from top to bottom was the issue on all of these, so we'll see how they grade them. Top to bottom, the back centering looks to be overall pretty good. It's not bad for sure. Let's see. I would, because of that centering, I think it's probably going to get a 9 with how harsh they've been. If we get lucky, maybe they'll sneak by a 10, but I'm going to go with a 9. Let's see. Oh! No! What? Okay, time out. Is there edgeware or something? Looks like there might be edgeware up there. Is that edgeware? Or is that the sleeve? I can't tell. Maybe it's edgeware. And maybe that's why I got the eight. Ooh, an eight right out of the pack. That is rough. Yeah, there's a ding up there. There's a little mini ding up there. Interesting. An eight right out of the pack. That is a real bummer, that's for sure. You're not looking for that. An eight. I would not be happy right now if that was mine, unfortunately. So let's see if the next one will do a little better. All right, next one, Dust Tornado. This is also Speciality's card. Okay, let's check the top. Does it have Edgeware, like the other one? Centering is definitely not very good on this guy. Um, yeah, right to left's a little off too. Let's see. Okay, they didn't get anything in the slabs, which is a plus. That's a very big plus. Top edge, I think, is what we were looking at on the last one. It looks better. Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's get. Let's go with nine. Oh my goodness. What is happening? All right. Guys, this is making me really nervous for my submission as well. But PSA, let's just say this now. Everyone's been saying it. I've been saying it. They have gotten so much stricter. That's what I'm trying to say. They've gotten so much stricter than they were just several months ago like a year especially they are extremely strict now it is crazy they have gotten ridiculously strict like there's no reason these should be eights like nines yeah they should be nines but eight is just crazy and before we get into the next one this strictness and this price increase is the reason that i have been telling a lot of people think twice before you send your cards in because a lot of people are saying hey i really want to grade this card should i grade it and most of the time i'm like no do not grade it because it's like a $50 card or whatever it is. And it looks like maybe it could get a nine, maybe even a 10. Even then it's not worth it. You pay $200 for a $50 card, comes back a $300 card. You know, you made 50 bucks if it gets a 10. If it gets a nine, you just lost like $200 basically. So yeah, you really got to research your prices. It has to be a very expensive card and worthy of sending because there's a small, small chance of getting a 10. And you really got to look at those nine and eight prices to see like what's the worst case scenario here. You pretty much don't need to send a lot of stuff in right now, which is, it's a bummer because it's so fun to grade cards, but yeah, you just got to really think about that stuff. Okay, next up we have the one and only Buster Blader. I've rambled long enough. Kaiba Corp pulled this one in the Pharaoh Servant Whatnot break. If you don't know what Whatnot is, just check it out down below in the description, and uh, yeah, first edition Buster Blader. I'm really scared. I'm, I, if they're going to give those two eights, like, I don't see how this is going to do better. I mean, like, it looks good. Okay, I'm trying to wipe all this junk off. A little bit of a... I think that'll come... Yeah, that'll come off. You just need a little cloth. But it's, for some reason, all sticky in there. That's weird. Okay. Um, not uh, not inside the case, though. That's that's good. As long as it's on the back, you can just wipe it off. That's a good thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. This card looks great. I would have given it, like, 
a nine maybe is the centering even bad i can't remember we're gonna flip it over and check let's just hope for a nine wow oh my goodness oh my goodness eights we're about to get all eights this is ridiculous it really is honestly this is honestly ridiculous Bet the centering is a little bit off. Like the first one I saw there was some edge wear. But these, I'm not finding it. Like, what's the edge wear? Like maybe, maybe like a speck of dust? Like, like barely anything. Like, that centering does not warrant an eight. Oh my goodness. Guys, this card. It's just not an eight. It's not an eight. It's not an eight. It's crazy. It is not an eight. Unbelievable. Well, I'm just going to guess eight on this last one. Should we even check it out? I mean, we're going to, but we shouldn't because it's going to be an eight. We just got three eights in a row. This is, I think this is the first time this ever happened. I've never had three eights in a row, especially we literally opened the packs and pulled them out unbelievable and there's nothing like okay this crap on the back but okay we got it i mean maybe like maybe like this is like very like is there edge wear okay now yeah, that corner has a little bit of extra stuff on it and then there's like i mean there's like that's normal it just came out of a pack it wasn't cut a hundred percent perfectly stuff that's not eight worthy right there okay that's what we got Let's cover it up. Legendary Fisherman, first edition. Centering is probably the best we've had. It's a little bit off on the ultras, but it really isn't that bad. I'm guessing the top has something. Let's go with an eight. Four eights. We just graded four eights for $800. Keep that in mind. That was $800 plus insurance and shipping. $800. Think about that. And we got four eights. Eight, eight hundred dollars. Kind of makes sense. Four eights. The values of these cards, like these are not even two hundred dollar cards in eight. So the cost to grade was more than the value of the card. So this is the kind of stuff you have to think about now. PSA is not giving away even nines easily anymore. They're giving eights. A near mint to mint, right out of the pack, beautiful, a little bit off centered. Very, very tiny edge wear at the most. That's an eight now. That is an eight now, guys. These aren't even mine, and I'm so, I'm upset. I'm really, I'm really upset. You got, I, guys, when I get my cards back and they give me a bunch of eights, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> I'm just letting you guys know, this is insane. This is crazy. Like, I don't know. It's getting harder to grade. It's definitely harder to grade. Think twice before you grade. Not just PSA. BGS is like this too. Everywhere. They're locking it up. BS is closed now, but they're coming. They're going to open back up. They are not giving away grades, guys. They, guys, they know there's value in it. They know that you can, you know, make money off of their service. And now they're like, not anymore. $200 to get a bunch of eights. All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was... Like, I don't even, guys, I don't know what to say anymore. That's just rough. Not a single nine out of the pack. Not even a nine. Four eights? You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I want to hear them. Let me know. Am I just being ridiculous? Were those all eights? I mean, should they have been eights? I feel like most of you guys agree with me, but but like, well, I don't want a soundboard here. I want you guys to tell me what you think about PSA not and grading in general. What is it too expensive? I know a lot of people are fed up with it. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's fun to do, but not when you get eight every time. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!